good morning my name is julie from so unique and i will pop all the links down below where you can find me on social media well welcome to day one of vlogtober it's really nice to be here again and the weather's changed again today it's gone quite cold out there which is okay <laughs> i'm not complaining mind you i've got a bit of rain this morning when i was walking down to work uh, I'm not sure what my plans are today, but um, I've got a few sort of sewing jobs to do. But I thought I would start off by showing you um, my finished sock. Sorry about the rustling. Um, the Silent Night yarn from West Yorkshire Spinners. I finished my first sock, so you can see all the twinkle really pleased how it's turned out it fits lovely um i'm not sure when i want to cast on the second sock but i will do i want to start some new ones though <laughs> but i'm really pleased how this one's turned out because normally i get a little gap just there when you sort of join in the two parts of the sock together and there's no, there's no hole, so I'm really pleased with that. So I will probably get the, the cuff cast on at some point and get that done and out of the way. I'm rustling again. Um, but what I wanted to do was, I actually fancied doing a pair of Halloween socks throughout October, but when I went looking through my stash, I hadn't really got anything because what I wanted was like a, a ball of yarn that's got the black, the purple, lime green and orange in. And I hadn't got anything, had I? So <laughs> that was that. I must, and I haven't actually seen any online that I, I fancy. So um, and yeah, I might still look around see if I can find something for next year. But anyhow, I found in my stash this set of now okay it's not Halloween but it's autumn so I thought that would do now this is fruitful fusion dyes and it's 85% superwash merino 15% nylon and it's a four ply fingering weight and that is the tag now I can't for the life of me remember where I bought this yarn from <laughs> It, it must be a show it must have been a show and I don't even know how long I've had it but I'm hoping today that while I'm at work if I've got any quiet time that I can sort of start and ball these yarns up but it just depends what I've got to put the skeins round <laughs> I might have got a cup or something so I might not get this done you never know we'll see so that is something for this month so i'm giving myself a month to get a pair of socks done so i can't be happy at that because you can you can wear autumn socks through november that'll be fine uh, right well i've got a little bit of sewing to do today um i'm still carrying my sock around in a plastic bag so if i get a moment today i'm going to see if i can whip up a little a little bag just to keeping my handbag when I'm up and down to work or out in the car um, yeah so I think what I'm going to start off with is I have got, got a little pile of orders here so I'm going to make a start on that get them all packed up and then I'm going to have a cup of tea well I've spent the good part of my morning um, cutting fabric and packing orders so I'm going to have an early trip to the post office today. Well it's my friend's birthday and we are going out for lunch as it's her birthday my treat and what I've got her is some yarn she likes green and she likes cat so this is just a little something extra. Now this is some opal yarn and it looks like it's called Wonderlust. And it looks really nice, lots of shades of green, a bit of blue, and a bit of sort of beige in there. So I can share this on here because I know she won't see it. <laughs> it 
now it's time for a lovely cup of Yorkshire tea. Well, I've started to pour my yarn up. And the only thing I could find to actually put my yarn around were these two spray cans. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it seems to be working. Well, I've just finished packing orders. And I'm now just having a nice cup of breakfast Yorkshire tea. I'm still on with the same packet. <laughs> but I have to say, it's grown on me. And I am enjoying it. And I'm going to continue buying it because it, it is really nice. But it's actually quite cold in the shop today, so hence why the cardigan's on and I'm drinking tea. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing now. I'm still sort of winding yarn. I managed to get three balls done, so I might do the other two at home later. <laughs> it's not easy winding wool on round two cans, but there we go. <laughs> but I might not. I don't know because we've got an exciting day today. We are actually fetching our new fur babies from their home. They're only seven weeks old, but they are ready to, to come and live with us. So we are going to fetch them tonight, which is really good. Can't wait to see them. So, yeah. so I'll probably share that later. So you'll probably get kitten overload this month. <laughs> Oh dear, because I've le well, I say I've left Kevin's um, uh, building the sort of a little pen area, I suppose you call it, to put them in. Um, it's the pet cages that you can get off Amazon, and we have used them for the shows for putting um, products in, which is really good because you can take them up. I mean, take them up. You can put them up and take them down, and they're great. They've got plastic corners. And actually use them in the shop for storing yarn in and things like that. And so he didn't believe me they were like pet cages and you could put small animals in. But what we're going to do is make a, a small area in the front room. And there's going to be a mat on the floor. So obviously if there's any accidents it's not going into my carpet. And there'll be a litter tray in there. And Adele bought a couple of little soft houses for them to sleep in. One's a banana skin, which looks really cute, and the other is um, a strawberry one, which is, they're so sweet, they're ever so tiny, these things. So we've got them, and we bought, bought them a couple of new dishes, and we've got some cat food and cat milk and kitten treats and things like that. Uh, we just haven't got any sort of toys for them at the minute. But I know where they're at now. They they play with things like cardboard tubes and bits of rolled up paper. So, you know, that'll do. But then I think probably this weekend or maybe Friday we might get out shopping because we need to go and get them a, a scratching post just for them. Uh, yeah, so kitten shopping, lots of kitten toys. They're going to have their own toy box, <laughs> which is going to be good. So yes, I'm really excited about that. Like I said, I will share that with you a little bit later on. So now I've just got a few more jobs to do in the shop before it's lunchtime. Well, I've just had a couple of little deliveries come in. And one of them is some new sock yarn. Well, I say sock yarn. It's for play yarn. It's opal and it's wonderlust. Now, I've only got in two colourways. But that's... It's actually green one which looks very nice and that sort of the pinky one i'm not sure what the shades are because they don't actually put them on the ball um i'll have to have a look on the uh, on the website and see what i, what I can find but they are wonder lost and they feel really nice so they will be going on the website hopefully tonight <laughs> um and what else have i got in Oh yes, I have got a little bit of, um, oh, I can't get into it now, sorry for the roughness, so it's trouble they package everything in plastic bags, but I have got some 
Hundred ml bottles of Euclan. And that must be that I've got a bottle of this and I absolutely love it for washing my socks. And I've also got a few so I'm rusting again, aren't I? Some little small sachets. You know, because I know sometimes if you've never had it before you want to test it out. So these are going to go on the flat as well. So it looks like it's going to be all good this evening. <laughs> what with cats and wool. <sighs> Today's vlog has not gone to plan, I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, this week's not gone to plan at all. I don't know. Anyhow, I thought I'd better pop on and just sort of round today's vlog up. Um, because when I got in from work this afternoon, it turns out Elsa's, well, I can't say she's been in a fight, but she's been attacked again by another cat, I think. And we're off to the vet in about quarter of an hour. I, I phoned up at four o'clock and our vets were too busy to see her. So we had to go to the other one which is probably about 20 minutes drive away from us and they put us in for an emergency appointment at seven o'clock which means it's going to be expensive. But she's not, uh, she's not too happy with herself at the moment. She's got quite a big cut under her front leg and I think she could have one on the other side as well. So she's a bit miserable. <laughs> but on the other hand, the kittens are being little monkeys at the minute. They've been chasing around all over the place and play fighting. <laughs> so they're keeping us busy. Anyhow, thank you for joining me today and I will see you all again tomorrow for tomorrow's vlog. Bye for now. <laughs>